Welcome to our lesson on 3D shapes. So each 3D shape has a unique set of properties which are described by its edges, its vertices and the number of faces. An edge is a line which connects two faces. A vertex is a point or vertices for points that connect two or more edges. And a face is the area of a shape on the outside of the solid. So we're going to describe each of these shapes using its edges, vertices and faces. You can see a cone has one edge which runs along the circumference of the base. It has one vertex on the top and it has two faces, one on the base which is a circle and the other which is the curved area that wraps around the base to the converging point. A cylinder has an edge on the top and an edge around the circumference of a base. So two edges, there are no vertices and you can see there are three faces, one of a circle on the top, another circle on the bottom and the curved area that wraps around the two. So three faces. A square base pyramid we can sketch here. You can see we have four edges along the base, another four edges that converge to a point on top. So in total we have eight edges. And these eight edges create five vertices, four on the base and one on top. And in total we have five faces, the square on the bottom and the four triangles that wrap around to the converging point. Do you want to try and work out the edges, vertices and faces for a sphere, hexagonal prism and a cuboid? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. For a sphere, there are no edges, no vertices and one curved face which encompasses the solid. For a hexagonal prism, we have six edges on the top face, six edges along the bottom face, and then another six edges connecting the two faces. So this is a total of 18 edges. These 18 edges create 12 vertices, six on the top and six on the bottom face. And you can see we have six faces that are vertical, plus the two horizontal faces, which are hexagons on the top and bottom. So in total, we have eight faces. For the cuboid, you can see we have four edges on top, four edges on the bottom face, and another four edges connecting the two. So we have a total of 12 edges. And these 12 edges give us a total of eight vertices, four on the top, four on the bottom and we have six faces in total, one at the top, one at the bottom, one at the left, one at the right, and one at the front, and one at the back. Okay, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again, and take care.